Hello and welcome to yet another video uh, documenting a photograph that we've taken for our Wheel of the Year Neo-Pagan calendar and in this particular episode Mark and I are going to be recording the image for Letha or Litha depending on how you pronounce it. Welcome to Colganology. Litha, and I'm going to pronounce it that way for the duration of this video rather than chopping and changing, is midsummer. It takes place or starts around the time of the summer solstice. It's when the days are longest and the nights are shortest and when the sun is in its full glory. It's at its height. And the way people celebrate it is by mimicking the sun. The usual way of celebrating Litha is to have huge bonfires. Huge bonfires. When I was growing up in Cornwall, they have a thing called Tanzas Galawan. And that is lighting a set of fire beacons that start right down the tip of Cornwall at Land's End and go all the way up to Kit Hill, which is the hill on the border of the River Tamar, which borders between Cornwall and Devon. And uh, the chain of beacons goes right across the whole duchy. So yeah, it's a big thing, big thing, this fire festival. And the way people celebrate it, as I said, apart from the bonfires, is they will quite often make up wreaths of flowers uh, and herbs, uh, some good for us, some bad for us, and sacrifice them to the flames. Another thing I'll point out is that the word bonfire comes from bone fire, because that's what used to traditionally happen. You had the wood fires to sit around and celebrate, but if you're going to do some sort of sacrifice, then you sacrificed animals, or maybe sometimes humans, at one time. But certainly animals, and if you didn't want to sacrifice the animals because meat was too precious, then you sacrifice their bones because people believe that the, the essence of the animal was retained in the bones. So they would actually burn the bones and then they quite often jump over the fires for good luck. Or they'd drive the cattle to jump over the fires which would actually burn some of the ticks off but it also purified them. So there you go, a bonfire is actually a bone fire. Hello there, change of location because this is where we're going to be doing our photo shoot. Now the idea is that we're going to have our model throwing a wreath of flowers into the flames but it's not midsummer we couldn't do it during midsummer and we couldn't find any bonfires that were big enough during midsummer so it's actually today november the 5th which in the uk is bonfire night and start of the bonfire season sometimes known also as guy fawkes night and um certainly down in sussex and on the south coast there'll be big parades and burning effigies of famous people they don't like and all that sort of thing going on um it's a big thing bonfire season but what we're doing is using one of the bonfires as the backdrop to our midsummer photograph, our litter photograph. Now this is the beacon. And I'm not entirely sure whether they are just setting fire to the beacon or whether it's a big bonfire somewhere else. Because it doesn't look to me as if they've stacked it up with much fuel. So, um, while it might look quite scenic, I don't think that's going to be used tonight. So where is the bonfire, I wonder? Maybe it's a little bit further down there. I've just had a chat with the lads who are running this thing, who are over there by that uh, display where we buy the torches from. And they've just told me how this all works. Now, apparently, if you look over here, if you can see that green space straight ahead of us in the middle of the picture, sort of triangular space, that's a, a common. There's an area there, a big bonfire there all built. We'll be proceeding from here, where you get your torches, all the way down a lane, past all those little cottages, and up to that area where the fire's gonna be. Well, the crowds are starting to get on there. Starting to get a bit of a queue going. What luck! <laughs> right, Mark. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. This. The lighting up has begun. People are heading down there already. All right. Yeah, I'm going to 
It all feels very pagan, watching all these torches being thrown into the fire. It's fabulous. Loving it. Torches still walking up here, and this has been burning now for at least half an hour. Those are still approaching. The final glow of the bonfire in the distance. Look at that, the sky's gone red. Look at that, in the far distance. Amazing. What a good evening. Well, there you go. Another photograph in the can and we're one step closer to completing the calendar. Uh, we've only got a couple more shoots to do now. In the meantime, we are starting to take pre-orders. And if you want to find out how to do that, watch to the end of this video where there'll be all the details you need. Uh, but yeah, just two more to do and they're coming up very, very soon. So... Uh, You'll be able to see those videos soon. In the meantime, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Doodle Pip. And don't forget that our Neo Pagan Wheel of the Year calendar is now available to pre-order. UK residents simply scan the QR code. Overseas customers email us at copa.artist at gmail.com and we'll try and work out the cheapest way of posting it to you. Thanks very much. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. Or click on some of these links to look at some of the other videos on the channel. Or press the like button. Or leave a comment. It would be lovely to hear from you. Any combination of those four things would be wonderful. Thank you very much.